Hey, this is Matt once again, and I'm doing a couple videos, paid requests. Out of fairness, since I was in this chair, I want to do something a little bit random. Uh, a lot of people will do this where they take like a f company, like a Blu-ray company, and they give like, what are your favorites? And I've not bought a lot from Vinegar Syndrome, mainly because I'm tight with money, just how it is. And, you know, once in a while I would buy something, like, this is not Vendor Syndrome, but this is a release I enjoy. Rituals. This is from Scorpion Releasing. Which I think now it's with, you buy it at Tino, but it doesn't have this cover. It's a different, uh, I like this cover, actually. But I guess, I just saw on the shelf, I just wanted to show this, because it's a very cool cover for a very underrated film. Rituals. Which I thought was cool, also, because... It had this poster and a magnet with it. But yeah. But anyway, Vendor Syndrome, like one of my top five favorite releases for Vendor Syndrome. One of them I have over there. I forgot to get it. It's Fade to Black. Fade to Black. Great. Underrated. In a way, a slasher film, kind of, but not really. It's a psych more of a psychological breakdown of an individual played by Dennis Christopher who's a big fan of movies from the 30s and 40s and he's obsessed with them and Dennis Christopher's character he's so obsessed with movies that's all he can talk about that's all he can think about he sees a woman and he imagines her as Marilyn Monroe he thinks of movies of James Cadney it's not just horror though it's just all types of stuff and then he's picked on he's treated badly at his job Mitty Rourke yes Mitty Rourke is one of his co-workers and then he starts taking revenge on the people that did him wrong. Playing characters from movies. At one point he's dressed up like Dracula. At one point he's dressed up like the Mummy. At one point he's dressed up like... Uh, do a little bit of... Uh, forgot the... The Western character. Cowboy character. Hopalong Cassidy. Even, you know, James... I'm top of the world, Ma! Jimmy Cadney style. And it's even got a, Sally, Tim Thomas is in a supporting role. I like him as an actor, but he's, his character is the weakest part. Not because of him, but because the character is poorly written into it. Because he really has nothing to do. There's nothing to offer. He doesn't get to do anything. So his character comes off as useless. But on the flip side, it's nice to see Tim Thomas in. But Fate of Black, great that I finally got a release. If you haven't seen Fate of Black, it's definitely worth it. And then the other releases, I don't have Scanner Cop 1 and 2. It was just too expensive for me. Because they did a Blu-ray and 4K, and because it's a 4K, it's much more expensive. Which sucks, because I love Scanner Cop. Scanner Cop 2, I don't mind, but it was just too expensive. I mean, even on Amazon, just the Scanner Cop 1 is like $45. That's, that's a lot for one movie. And you know, maybe one day. But I can only mention the releases I have. So the other four. Red. Which I'm glad I picked this up when it did. I forgot this was a 4K and Blu-ray. Because I do have a 4K player. And I have not picked up a lot of 4Ks. I mean, I would like to. And my neighbor, one of my neighbor's roosters feels the same way. Get it now. I would. If you want to give me money, Mr. Rooster. But like Indiana Jones on 4K, the Rambo films on 4K, Hard Target on 4K. I would like to get them, but it's just again, I'm very stingy with money. Money's tight, just what it is. Um, you know, just you know, one day look for sales. That's really the best thing to do. Is I put them on my Amazon wish list, which is linked on my YouTube. To be fair. Um, so buy me free shit now, goddamn it! You better buy me free shit. I'm gonna pout. No. I did that, and I, then I forgot I did that, because there were a few people years ago, hey, what's on Amazon wish list that I put it on there? I'm like, okay, cool. Uh, but I leave it on there, just I like, click on it, I look at the prices. I, I'm a guy that will wait a long time for the right price. I'm that, I'm that asshole. I'm going to wait. Especially for a film that I know is not going to go out of print soon. I like waiting for the right moment. 
But yeah, I forgot this was a 4K. A rad. I, I, like, it's a Blu-ray. Because on this, it's like, oh, it's a Blu-ray. Oh, yeah, that's right. But I was surprised they released this. And I enjoy this film. I thought it looked cool. Different colors. Like I said, I forgot this was 4K. And it does have features. Brand new commentaries. Two of them. Actually, three commentaries. Uh, interview with the director, Hal Needham. Interview with Sam Bernard. 21st anniversary event. I remember hearing someone did a documentary on this, but it was never released. I don't know what the hell happened to that. You would think this would be the perfect choice and chance. Still got the poster in there, but yeah, that's the Blu-ray and the 4K behind it. But it was nice this film got a release. I thought it would never happen because of the soundtrack. But it shows anything's possible if this film with its soundtrack got a release. Right now. Call me an angel right now. And your thunder in your heart. Great soundtrack. Wonderful BMX uh, action stunt sequences. Uh, the acting was fine for what it was. I, I like Rad. I think it's a fun movie. So that's definitely in my top five editor sender releases. Fade to Black Rad. Resurrection with Christopher Lambert, directed by Rosa Mulcahy. Now there are. There's also this cover too, which people may remember this cover from back to the days of VHS. So I'll show that for a bit. My name is Roosters must be really loving this one. And they're right, it's a good movie. This is an underrated film. It's done in the style of Seven. Seven was released, inspired a bunch of films. I think this is one of the better inspirations after Seven. Christopher Lambert plays a cop. He's partnered up with Leland Orser, who is also in Seven. And the both of them are after a killer who he's killing people because he's taking certain body parts because he wants to recreate the body of Jesus Christ. Which is a pretty crazy plot. Which is why the alternate cover is the, the body itself. And I'm like, well, spoiler. But yeah. I mean, that's a fucked up idea. To kill people and take their body parts to fight the, the body of Jesus Christ. That's a pretty fucked up plot. But I thought Russell Bouquet did a good job. Christopher Lambert. The acting is pretty solid. It's got some tense sequences. Definitely not as down of an ending as, as Seven. Sadly, no interview with Christopher Lambert. It would have been nice to hear from him, his thoughts on this movie. That's really my only disappointment. But 2K, 35mm, film looked good. Underrated film. Glad to see this finally get a release. Love Resurrection. Ah, oh, the darkness into the light all american murder now the show this is what it looked like on vhs right there but i do like this cover more i think it's a cool much better cover now a lot of people don't like the film but i think it's decently underrated it's kind of an american version of a giallo film and i'm not really a big giallo guy but I liked the actors in this. I liked the lead guy. It's funny. It's directed by Anson Williams, who was an actor on Happy Days. And you have Charlie Schlater, who is one of the... I think he was in the last Police Academy film. Um, I think he does much better here than that movie. He plays a teen going out with this girl. Girl gets killed. He gets framed. But he wants to find the killer... Christopher Walken is, to me, one of his cooler movie roles. Like his first time we see Christopher Walken is talking down this guy. Hey, I got your wife out here. We're having fun. We're fucking. And just, like just how he's pissing this guy off to get him out so that Christopher Walken just shoot him in the leg. And at times there's some surprising gore in this. At least Aftermath. One or two, like there's a drill scene that's gorier than you think it would be. 
someone gets blown up by a grenade, and you see the aftermath of it, which is pretty graphic. It's not wall wall slashing, far from it, but I remember when I first saw this, I went, God damn, I didn't expect that. But I liked it. I'm like, wow, they released that? That's cool, and I love the song at the end. I think the song at the end is great. I love that. Out of the darkness, into the light. I uh, don't care for the commentary by the hysteria continues. Uh, they're, despite what they want to say, they're not really fans of the film. Uh, even the interviews, they seem like, you know, kind of like, uh, it's, it, it is what it is. I'm like, I don't think this film's that bad. I really don't think this film's as bad as people make it out to be. It's not a five out of five star movie, but I think it's pretty damn decent. It's better than average. You want to see bad? Go watch Feeders. Feeders 2, a Serbian film. Go watch Razor Teeth. Go watch The New Chainsaw 2022. That's way worse. Stream 5 is way worse. I didn't name 100 movies worse than this. So, glad this finally got released. And Silent Madness. I remember when I first saw this, I was looking at 80 slasher films. I'm like, man, I've never heard of this film. What is this? What the hell is this movie? And then when it was getting a Blu-ray release, I'm like, oh, cool. Just when I first saw this, it was on YouTube and it was cut. Because for some reason, in the U.S., when it was released on VHS or whatever, it was heavily cut. At least the version I saw. Like, there's a bit with a spinning blade coming down and almost hitting our lead character. A good chunk of that was cut out. Death scenes, which is, this is not the most gory film, it's not. But even they were abruptly cut and edited. Like, it's a very poor editing job. I don't, I would love to hear the story behind that. But, then what happened was, on VHS Overseas, I forget which country it was, it was uncut. I remember like looking and look, looking and looking and barely like finding a copy and downloading it and put it on a DVD-R. But thankfully they put it on this and they cleaned it up and it is the full, un, you know, non-edited version. It wasn't even that gory of a movie. I mean, not at all. It's just weird editing crap. Restored in 4K from his 35mm negative. Got quite a few features. Uh, I don't know why every fucking one of these these a commentary track from the Hysteria Continues. Half the fucking movies they commentate they don't even like. <laughs> so it's like, why the fuck do you get them? Get me to commentate it. I know Wes uh, from Dead Pit, he liked this film. They told me and Wes, we could do a commentary on this. My friend Efri, he didn't mind it for what it was. We do it, I mean... Like, get people who actually like the film. But there's a commentary with the director. There's a 45 minute making of, which is cool. Blenda Montgomery, I don't think she wants anything to do with this. This is too bad, she's one of the better parts of the movie. And it does have 3D glasses. I like that they put the Silent Madness on there. I like that it's not just plain 3D glasses, that they actually put Silent Madness on there. Like you would get a movie theater. I thought that was really cool. I remember the 3D wasn't that bad when I put it on. <laughs> I'll do the rest of it like this. There you go. <laughs> do the rest of it like this. But yeah, I remember liking the film kind of cool I could look over here and you won't even know it or am I looking at you or am I looking over here <laughs> no one knows no wonder people put these on but Silent Man is I liked I thought the idea was fun that they accidentally let a guy out and he's, I thought okay this is going to be like a typical slasher film and it kind of is but I thought the tear Belinda Montgomery was actually rather solid. She's like a female Dr. Loomis. Uh, I thought the killer, like his look, I thought worked for this kind of project. The death scenes, they're not gory, but at least they're different. Like someone gets her 
head in a vice and turned. Uh, someone just a face full of steam. Someone gets a nice drill to the head. Look good. One gets stabbed and impaled. And I like the bit that it, when it's pulled out, water starts leaking out to show the impact of the like crowbar. I don't know, it's just one of those films that worked for me. It just worked for me. I thought it was entertaining for what it was. and yeah. It was great to see this released. Just believe me, there's a lot of worse slash films out there. I think this is actually one of the better ones. Does I actually like some of the characters. I even like the reporter guy that Blenda falls in love with. I thought that those two were pretty decent. I recognize the sheriff. I've seen him in other stuff. I don't remember his name though. But he's been in other stuff. But yeah, Silent Madness. So I did the Fade to Black, Rad, Resurrection. All American Murder and Solid Madness are my top five favorite Vinegar Center releases. I would love to get ticks. I love the look of that box, but yeah, it was just too expensive. I mean, hey, if ticks standard top one and two, there's a film. I mean, it's probably okay, like maybe a three out of five star film, but it could be. I'm not expected fun, but there's a film with Donna Dryden Wilson and Andrew Dice Clay as police partners going up against Fred Williamson in a late 90s movie. Whatever it takes or something. I'm sure it's average, but I mean, to see Andrew Dice Clay as a good guy, foul mouth, working with Donna Dryden Wilson, it, uh, that seems like it would be at least a bit of fun. Even if it's just like, I mean, maybe like a three out of five star movie. But it still seems fun. Be it was a tit standard cow one and two. Um, there's a few others. Unmasked part twenty five. I've never seen, but I've always heard good things about it. Um, yeah, yeah, maybe one day. But they rarely have like sales or. Are... <laughs> it just Blu-rays would get more expensive. Just how it is with physical media and with how it just how it is. So. What can you do? But with that said, thought it'd be just a little bit different and interesting. So maybe this would be like a thumbnail if I can do it right. So you can't even see you can't see all American murder. Yeah, that's me trying to do something for the thumbnail. There you go. Maybe that could be the thumbnail. Is that, where's the fifth one? Well, I've, I'm an idiot. I forgot over there. But thanks for watching. We'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.